This video will show you how to configure the Samsung Q60A series of TVs to implement the Hospital Healthcare TV emulator to support pillow speakers on hospital rooms. When you first turn on the TV, it will start with the setup wizard that will guide you through the settings. On the region settings select the US option. On the TV installation type, move down and select the factory menu. When the factory menu is displayed, it will show a warning message on the top right corner related to brightness optimization. Press the select button on the remote control to exit the message to allow you to make changes to the TV settings. Move down and select the SI vendor option. Once selected, use the right and left arrow keys to change the value from off to SSCP. Use the return key to go back to the main menu. Move down to the bathroom speaker option and press select. The next menu will show the option subamp mode. Select it and use the right arrow key to change the value to 3. If the value can't be changed to 3, then you will need to update the firmware of the TV to version 1006.90 or newer. Please check the ProTV Solutions website for instructions on how to make the upgrade. Use the return key to go back to the previous menu. Move down to the option subamp volume and select it. Use the left arrow to change the value to 4. Use the return key to go back to the previous menu. The settings for bathroom speaker should show the subamp mode equal to 3 and the subamp volume equal to 4. Use the return key to go back to the main menu. Move down until the cursor will move to the next column. Select the virtual standby option. Change the virtual standby value to on. This option is required to allow the healthcare TV emulator to get power, even when the TV is turned off. Use the return key to go back to the previous menu. This ends the setup for the items required to support the healthcare TV emulator interface. Depending on the local installation, other setup items may be changed at this time. For example, if the TV will be using its tuner to get channels, a channel ring may be acquired using the channel option and then selecting the auto program option. If a setback box will be used, the startup source, such as HDMI 1, may be selected on the power on section of the factory menu. Finally, once the TV has been properly configured and confirmed, it is recommended that a clone file be made using the clone menu. Having a clone file would allow the installer to copy all of the settings to other TVs of the same model, thus making the process easier to deploy.